fans came out in New York for the world premiere of this bold endeavor, a transformation of the revered American novel The Great Gatsby, a story of obsessive love, empty lives and wealth in New York in the early 1920s into a stylish 3D modern entertainment. Major J. Gatsby for Valor, Valor Extraordinary. That's right. Leonardo DiCaprio plays the title character, the self-invented millionaire playboy Gatsby. There's a lot of pressure when you're dealing with a novel of this caliber, a piece of literature that people know so intimately and are so connected to. So, you know, there's no one scene or, or, or one line that you take lightly. Period films, even with big name stars, can struggle to make headway at the box office. To have genuine hit status, The Great Gatsby is going to have to reach a broad swath of moviegoers, and that includes young people. The movie's music should appeal to a young audience. The film's director, Baz Luhrmann, who also made the award-winning musical Moulin Rouge, collaborated with American rapper Jay-Z to create the Gatsby soundtrack. F. Scott Fitzgerald has many loyal followers. They treasure his writing, and they're a little apprehensive about what Baz Luhrmann's film may bring. I worry that they will focus too much on the beauty of the settings, of the characters, of the parties, and the jazz age, you know, which is when it's set. And so I worry about that. I mean, it really is a book about America and America's coming of age, really, and that, that, that might be lost, a good deal of that might be lost. To really succeed commercially, the Gatsby film needs to have an international following. My boy! Mr. Carraway, this is my good friend, Mr. Maya Wolfshaw. The casting of Amitabh Bachchan, the man who's arguably India's biggest movie star, should give the film currency in South Asia, even though he's playing a small role. Do you think part of the reason why you were cast was for marketing reasons, because they knew that having you in the movie would bring in, bring in a South Asian audience? No, I don't think that. I, I think um, that would be unfair to Baz Luhrmann. <laughs> This guy is with his house, his parties. The Great Gatsby is arriving in American cinemas at a time when moviegoers expect action blockbusters, not adaptations of literary classics. The hope is that it will triumph because it is counter-programming, offering audiences something distinctly different. Tom Brook, BBC News, New York.